Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today Aaron and I are at, what is he doing? We are at the Terpene Frog Emporium. We've been here a few times before, but we're gonna give it a shot today and see what we can find to buy and resell. Oh, here's some little putz houses. Christmas is over though. What is that? A pair of toilets for ladies only. What is that? Oh my gosh. Hmm. That's hilarious. Look at this sign. Aaron spotted it. It's um, a McDonald's vintage sign. I guess it's vintage. I don't know if it's how old, but they want $150. It's a light up. Make it an extra value meal. Okay. I think I've actually showed this figurine before, but it's finally on sale. 50% off this whole booth is. So I think I'm going to go wild because there's lots of fun things. Um, so that'd be two dollars today 50 percent off isn't it cute with the little glasses ah oh, it's hilarious um no chips or cracks just need to wash it up a little bit here's a bathtub you can wash it up right there <laughs> that's funny made in thailand oh there's a mouse oh a panda bear it's a cool panda bear i don't know how old it is though Got an elephant that's plastic. What do you got? Oh, a Hardee's mug. That's neat. Oh, I've got one of these in my booth right now. Oh, never mind. You can have it if you want one. The other one's probably the same year. Yeah, oh, you're looking for 87 or something? Wow. Um, yeah, okay. What do we see? Anything we like? Do we want everything? Well, we can't have everything. We can have some things. So what else is you holding? You taking that? Oh, I don't even know why I'm holding it. Oh. I don't want those. You don't want them. Those are pretty. Yeah, 50% off. Oh, wait a minute. No. Mm. I thought it was everything. It's just Christmas. Well, you know what? I already said it. I'm going to buy this. I've got to. It's only $4. It's only $4. Ooh, they got paperweights, and they're all like around twenty dollars, so I can't do that. But what is that? Pretty things. Lots of pretty things. They're funny looking. Oh, it's a pen holder too. Huh? Where does the pen holder at? Oh, it's over here. Okay. Well, I don't know. If it had real pennies in it, that'd be kind of cool. But it looks kind of. Oh, they move around. Wow, they move around. Well, I thought we were gonna get to get a whole bunch of stuff in this booth, but I just have my dog. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's some pretty pictures. I like this booth. They have it really arranged nicely. Um, and there's a 20% off sale. So we have to find something, right? Some binoculars, oh, isn't that cool? $39. Too much for me. <laughs> um, very nice. Let's take a look-see. This looks like Holt Howard, kind of, doesn't it? With the way that they did it. But it's Devar. 1959 Devar. Saccharin is better for me. There's some interesting little things in here. It looks like the dog that we that we got at the other booth. Oh, little kittens in a basket. Mm -mm -mm. Um, what do we see? A little girl hanging on her thing. Cool. I still don't see anything that I'm gonna buy. Isn't that a shame? Yep, it's a shame. Now this is a bank. These sell for like $25 or so, and they want $20, so that's not a good thing to buy. Oh, the red color makes it a little bit better. Alrighty then. Yeah, they got lots of little toys and gizmos right there. And a globe. Yeah, 
It's a nice booth. Oh, here's a pretty black dish. Eight fifty. Oh wait, no, that's that's not glass. It is pottery. That's pretty still. Pretty. This this area over here used to be a lot more disorganized. They really yeah. they really turned this place around. Oh wait a minute. $115. We were just at an auction which is uh, um so there's a video just like a week ago and we talked about how these buckets were going like very expensive they're called it's called an end of day bucket and it's what would have happened at the end of a production day when they had multiple colors that were used and they would throw them all on a bucket like this yeah they're very collectible um but that specific day that i'm talking about the highest price bucket went for over 700 dollars wow um but anyways i did record a little bit of footage on that one if you have not watched it What did you see over here? I don't remember what I even said. Oh, big scissors. <laughs> big scissors, yeah. There, there's $32. Whoa, that's for like a ribbon cutting or something. Yeah. You can have a ceremony. I love this tray. Every time I see it here, $150 though. And speaking of trays, I love this one. It's a car hop tray. I've talked about it before. Super cool. He's playing with this paper clip or um, clothespin. That's what they give you here. Um, whenever you have something, they take your thing and then they give you a clothespin with a number on it. There's a pie bird. Oh, they want $15 though. And this other one has a chip on it and they would like $10. Oh, there's a chocolate pot right there. Oh, it has a chip. I just noticed it. Really pretty though. For this chipped chocolate pot, they would like $21. It's made in Germany. I just noticed that this is beautiful. I had to point it out. So it's this wonderful enameled cloisonne style box. Very nice. Oh, it has like this um, tin foily kind of base metal. And then they did like that applied color over it. It's in the style of cloisonne, but it's not cloisonne because it doesn't have defined areas um, that would keep the paint or enamel in place, but it's in that style for sure. Beautiful. These are kind of fun. They're like these Art Deco salt and pepper shakers. Very neat. And $3. Huh. So they've got like little silver letters on there. I think I'm gonna do that. It's on for like 20 bucks. Very cool. Oh, that's large. Here you go. Well, there's two things. Oh, God. Almost no more. It's like a little vase. It says Mexican bud vase. That's really pretty. $5. Oh, is it styrofoam? Oh. Oh, it's concrete or chalkware. I think I want to do this. It's the colors and the pattern is really pretty on it. Yeah. That looks like a goodie. This booth is starting to pay off. Oh no, I can't do that. It's too big and heavy. Oh, here's this again. I remember this from last time when we were here. We, we were having trouble trying to figure out what it was for. Yeah, so far this booth is doing great. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a covered basket. And a musical instrument. Carnival glass, open bowl, and the raid pattern. Green base. 
you know i almost missed this it's really cool looking um i thought it was plastic but it's actually glass and it's a tomato so it's like a little covered tomato dish that's funny i guess you could put sugar in it or yeah probably sugar um no maker really on it but it is super cool it has that vintage vibe looks a lot like hazel atlas and uh for five dollars i'm gonna get it to the open hand um you can't buy any more my hands are full well only in your hand you can carry now i just have one i only brought one today one um who there's a mixer down there for you it's a cool mixer but no i don't trust it it's actually cool but i wonder how much it is Darn it, why did you do that to me? <laughs> what? That's a guess. It's it's eight dollars. Oh darn, I should have said eight. I thought you said eight fifty. I did. Oh. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's broken. Yep. Yicky. Icky. Get back. Yeah. Oh. That's a really cool dusk set right there. Vintage dusk set. Okay, we need to get out of this boot. Oh, look at the Oh, that's cool. You should get that yet too. Oh, it's only eight dollars wait a minute how do you hang okay you could just like attach like a little thing here it looks like oh wow that is cool oh no it's not i'm looking at it and the no well i mean kind of like there's a little missing beads right there how's the owls doing the owls are the owls are in good shape it's just like a couple little of these can I look past that? I could, I could look past it. That's so cool. Like I, I've never seen anything like that. All right, so with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.